<sighs> All right. Take a deep breath. Yes, someone is down. Someone is always down. But you know what? Nobody cares! Empty bottle. Oh, I know. Ah, damn it. I was hoping to get rid of this idiot first. Okay, these guys are officially a pain in the butt. And now, for some true power... Alright, so, what lessons have I learned today? People can be really, really annoying. That's, that's the main lesson. Any other lessons? Don't be an idiot. Jesus, what an idiot, huh? Ugh. Unquestionably one of the more stupid things I've done lately. Never mind, though. A painting. Here it is. For me, I believe. The obtuse arguments of Lady Boyle. Beautiful. I do not trust you, rats. Never, ever, never. Oh, hello. I do believe you are one of mine. But you must have forgotten that you are supposed to disappear once I kill you. Oh well. I will not hold it against you. Oh my. What's inside here? Except one suspects Sokolov's sizable collection of wine. Maybe some elixirs as well? Oh well. What a nice place. I'm obviously missing something because either this place is completely useless or, you know, I'm missing something. <laughs> Let's move along. I'm looking forward to meeting my dear friend Sokolov. This thing has not been... Hello, darling. How are you doing? Whoa! I did not mean to do that! I didn't even walk near you! Why did you... Uh, <laughs> women, am I right, fellas? <laughs> that, that's a joke. That's... Again? What's wrong with you, woman? Seriously, what's wrong with her? She keeps falling over. She's head over heels for me, perhaps? <laughs> All right, this is good. All right, we've deactivated this. Oh, I see, so that's what the area below is. You could sneak up here. Useful. Fun hour, more cleverer. Oh, guys. Oh, you poor fellows. There is room in here. Alright. Oh! And a bottle! Oh my. Old coast map. Let's see. So, this is how the Isles look and the Pandesian continent. I've actually been wondering about this. It looks quite cool, doesn't it? Awesome. Anything in... 
Oh, Sokol's house key required. Mysteries of Pandisia. At the Academy of Natural Philosophy, they speak of the Pandisian continent as a place of wonder, where all of life has entwined and blossomed across aeons, producing a vibrant ecology unrivaled in the civilized world. The overseers from the Abbey of the Everyman, by contrast, talk of horror and heresies, of cults, of submen engaged in brutal, perverse rituals. I've read this book. Hmm. So many riches inside. Pandisian Bull Rat Study. Excerpt from Lab Notes by Anton Sokolov. The bulk of the rodent is hardly the most interesting detail, though it is the one first remarked upon by visiting colleagues who come to study my prize from Pandisia. Upon further observation, it becomes obvious that the specimen exhibits greater cunning than its cousins, native to temperate gristle. Twice in the night I have awoken to find it loose in my apartments, so a new cage had to be devised. How did you even find a rat? An entertaining diversion, but a waste of my precious time. The dietary tests I have conducted have also provided some surprise. The Pandisian bull rat, I can say with confidence, is not a finicky eater. With equal gusto, I have seen my little guest dine upon other smaller rats, living felines and even the corpse flesh of a plague-dead woman found in the Renhaven River. Further study is required. My, if I was a learned man, I would suspect that this here circle of guy is at fault for this here plague. Whatever am I to do? This one I've read. Well, oil, lovely. So close to the rune and yet so very far away. Or not. Actually, I'm basically here. Sloughing of the skin, she should be dead by mid morning tomorrow. Oh, very, very charming. Oh, don't worry, dear woman. How are you feeling? Much worse. Do I have the plague? Oh, have a nap, Sokolov. You work too hard. <laughs> Your savior, woman, I mean, oh, test subject 312. Pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and read when I come in here. All right, hide away. I completely respect your desire. So let's see what the heart says. Oh, all kinds of things, darling. I have no clue, but I would like to know. Nothing more about Sokolov. Oh well. So where do I go? Samuel. Alright, awesome. I think I'm done with... Yeah, I'm done, right? I think I collected them all. <clears throat> Test subject 312 is declining rapidly, as I theorized. Formulas 12 and 17, administered in combination, greatly accelerated the progression of the disease. Interestingly, the respiratory oh my. mucosa had erupted and raised pustules, grayish in color, which burst, causing hemorrhaging and pain. I now turn my hopes into Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential, according to the latest celestial alignment. As for test subject 312, after the characteristics of the skin. 
Yeah, why did I kill Test Subject 312? Well, because she's obviously sick with the plague and... Eh, I didn't feel like dooming more people to die. I've killed enough, you know. As requested, this is a sample of this black market elixir we believe to be coming from one of the abandoned distilleries. No doubt it's inferior to your formula or, or even to Piero's remedy, but people are desperate. We have not been able to identify the additional ingredients. Perhaps you'll have better luck. One thing of note, some of the men of the watch claim, when pressed, to have purchased and used this stuff from time to time since it's cheaper than either of the popular brands. None of them report any illness or complications. So while it may not protect from the plague as well, it doesn't seem harmful. Lieutenant Christopher Nile, second dispensary detail, Dunwall City Watch. Okay, so all I have to do now is just basically leave. Which I'm certain will be as easy as by. I did hack this, so I shouldn't be having any trouble, but just in case I do something horrible and foolish and. St oh! oh. Hello! Whoops. Come on, boys! <laughs> you can do nothing! But you know what I can do? Oh! Obviously this. Obviously I can throw a grenade and it can explode in my face. <laughs> this was actually one of them. Oh lol. I enjoy this far too much. Oh! What should we do next? Let's see. A grenade. Okay. Grenades. No. Never again. <laughs> this is so much fun though. Just planning to kill these. Actually, maybe just one more time. That explains a lot. I've been doing it all wrong. I've been throwing the grenades without holding it down. Wonder if I can shoot through the fence. Nope. I am the Terminator. This was seriously a lot of fun. <laughs> Sorry, I know I wasn't playing this. Way too seriously. Oh, hey guys, I can I can help, I guess. No, I did not mean this. Do you guys? All right. Nearby, there's a partially collapsed building. Yeah. On what used to be the third floor, you'll see a painting. Yeah. I used to work there. Behind the painting, there's a safe, and the cool. Thank you. I'm very glad I saved you. Mainly because there's something in it for me. 247, right? 247. Or was it 274? Yeah, it was 274. Haha, <laughs> whoops. Okay, it was not 274, and I'm an idiot. Uh, Written notes, books, objectives. Investigate safe. Is it two nine four? Yeah, two nine four. Good girl, Damon. Super distracted. Super ridiculously short. 
Uh, capacity for... I have total ADHD. Anyway. Royal position himself. You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Of course I will. Yeah, let's get Sokolov back. Capturing genius and madness. I like this. Oh, look at how many things I got. The Sokolov painting, the outside of shrine. All the boon charms and runes. Excellent job, me. And I even got a few saves. Overall, I would say this was a nice going in a day's work. Places, as we all have at that. Yeah, but the problem is that he hasn't just woken up in worse places, he has made sure that many other people wake up in worse places than what we're giving him as well. Well done, Colonel. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. I killed a dozen soldiers. Will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The royal oh. position is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with Tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Sleep sounds good. Oh, I'd like to wind down first and say goodnight to Emily. Okay, so time to talk with Emily. Emily, Emily, Emily. Attention citizens. This evening, the streets adjacent to Pendleton Manor will be closed for a private ceremony following the tragic death of two of our city's best and brightest. I think Emily is supposed to be here somewhere, right? Or am I completely wrong? Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. Oh, I was about to say that. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. Ah, oh, poor girl. Poor darling little girl. The Fugue Feast. Let's read this one before we sign off. Excerpt from a book on the celebrations and holidays. At the end of every year, after the last day of the month of songs, we begin the Fugue Fest Feast. The new year has not started until the time that follows is outside the calendar. A period of celebration and feasting begins, during which the people abandon the very practices that keep them whole and healthy, of the year. Many leave their homes, euphoric with spirits or potent herbs. Some paint their faces or wear masks to conceal themselves as they pursue their passions without reservation. I call loads of orgies. That's what I'm thinking. When the right cosmological signs are observed and it is time for the calendar to begin anew, the sitting high overseer calls for the hymn of atonement and the fugue feast ends. Families return to their homes, wives to their husbands. Told you, orgies. Orgies, I mean. Enemies put down their weapons and fires are extinguished. No complaint is given for those who have wronged others, deviated from ancient cones or discarded oaths. For this time, during the astrological alignment, does not exist and is not recorded. The following day starts the new year, marked on the first day of the month of Earth. As it has always been. There's hardly a need to work on table etiquette. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather hold her spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. Then suddenly she changes and she's all manners, asking for a tea party. I tried to oblige her, but I have little to work with. No proper plate, and instead of a cloth napkin, I've only the bar rag. Ale mugs instead of teacups. I've asked for things. 
things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretend dinner using paper and little things she's found here and there. The as long as she hasn't found any right bone runes. <laughs> Oh, another bone charm, a new bone charm. Please, please light a candle for me. I, it's dark in here and I, I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. I'm here, Emily. Poor Emily. Her childhood is lost. She has become a pawn in the games of men. And I'm afraid I'm to blame for that as much as those fools. Poor girl. Poor dear Emily. I I am going to be honest, I cannot wait to play with her. In Dishonored 2. Let's let's get some rest. Let's see if the outsider makes another appearance. Corvo. Oh no. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. <laughs> Hello, Emily. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Of course you should. You're always safe with me, darling. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. But of course. Anything you want to talk about? Darling daughter of mine. I've always wanted a daughter. Funny thing. <laughs> She's just reading a book. Wait, what? Why did the... Uh... Okay. Let's talk with Sokolov and be done for the day. Pendleton? I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just this time. <laughs> I realize you're a selfish prick, but I do not need to hear your pathetic comments. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you. Our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah. Hello. I am loyal to my inner <laughs> spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spy master, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. Here, yeah. here. Mistake it if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. Whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry clues, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. Oh, I've seen it happen. Horrible, horrible. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? Well, he's an admiral, so he usually keeps rats' company, you know. They do get on ships. Every crack. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Don't suppose you would like to help me. Part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, True enough. <coughs> All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. You know, I could... Perhaps I can find a bribe for you, Sokolov. Maybe an audience with the outsider. A curious strategy. Of which I approve. But of course. Talk to Piero and buy a bribe. All right. Let's go and do this. Uh, 
Uh, Piero, darling, what are you doing? I know Don't be a creep. I was inventing a new kind of rock. <laughs> the tumblers shaped like snowflakes. Oh, God. The truth is, there is no snow. Of course, there isn't. You've been spying on Callista. Well, she baits. You are. Uh, who you watching the bus up is none of my concern, really. I realize. Well, everything you're thinking, I already realize. I'm a natural <laughs> philosopher, but that doesn't oh, mean I'm not a gentleman. Or. I try to be one. That's good. It's good that you try. Trying is important. Now sell me a bribe. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff. A blend of rare Pendisian spices and... a. Let me guess. It too is corrupted by the outsider's power. Yes. Oh, what joy. So I just purchased, or rather I'm going to purchase, an expensive bottle of brandy. Because why the hell not? Let's see, Boots Telt. Reduced footstep sounds. Cool, 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 I'm going to take this. This seems very useful. Further reduced footstep sounds. I'm going to take this further upgrade. Mask optics, crossbow accuracy, crossbow range, pistol magazine, pistol reload, pistol magazine it is. I love nothing as much as a gigantic pistol magazine. Attention Dunwall citizens. Be aware that right. of evacuated... Oh shut up, authoritarian speaker. I hate loudspeakers so much. I could use a drink. Here we go. King Street Brandy. I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary. <laughs> well, I one man. I'm dealing with men of taste. A single man of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her. Face then I get that picture. Name. The you picture see, he painted. I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking. But I do not know which boil she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. Oh, the you poor darling. Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect for Corvo. But the boils are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Why am I not surprised? You already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? <laughs> nice thinking. Mingle with them once you're on the ground. We'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way we can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind Oh, break. how nice. Thank you, Sokolov. You have proven truly useful. I swear I never saw her face. Although I can vouch that her hindquarters are the finest in the city, and perhaps the Empire itself. This is an episode filled with gentlemen, isn't it? When the heart says things like that, uh, oh my god, I think I know, I think it's coming back to me. The heart is the heart of the Empress, isn't it? Oh my god. Interesting. Very curious. Let him drink. 
He's terribly lonely, isn't he? I hear you're off to the boils, little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask. Oh God! Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? <sighs> Must I? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. Fact, I really don't like him. Maybe looking for me. Charming, charming, so charming. Would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord Regent. Again, I'm charmed by politics. Of course. <laughs> did you ever see pirates? And did you sink any? Of course, dozens. Oh yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? <laughs> mostly. Of course. I knew it! I read this in the <laughs> witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. I love this. Bye, Emily. Anything you have to a say, Admiral? Ball. You happen to have the most clever mask of them all. Mm, indeed, I do. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned. Bye!